All right, what's up guys? Hope you're all having a great day so far. So at this point, we are almost exactly a month away from the release of the sixth anniversary Duel Dokkan Fest on Global, featuring the LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And recently, I would say for the last like two months or so, tons of people have been asking me to do a tally or a count of exactly how many Dragon Stones global players can expect to get between now and the release of this Duel Dokkan Fest so they can have a good idea of how many stones um, they'll have to summon with, right? And honestly, it was something that I really wanted to do, but I've just been really busy these days and I couldn't really get around to it. But luckily, a Reddit user by the name of uh, Vitality underscore 93 underscore RUS just so happened to make this amazing post that pretty much answers our question perfectly and I did cross-reference all of his numbers uh, in this post with the event info we have on the Tokon subreddit or rather the Tokon wiki and it seems to check out so we are going to be using his post as a reference for sure and of course a big shout out to Fatality for all of his hard work and obviously all the credit for this video also goes to him. So uh, yeah, with that said, let's just jump right into it to answer the question of how many free-to-play Dragon Stones global players can expect to get between now and the release of the 6th anniversary Dual Dokkan Fest. Now, quick disclaimer he has here, and it's something that I say a lot in my videos as well, the numbers below assume that you complete every mission, every new event, and do not miss a single login day. So. Basically, you can't just sit around and do nothing and expect to get these stones. You do have to put in a little bit of work, right? And uh, we're also assuming that Global completes all of the in-game campaign goals and you do not perform a single summon between now and the arrival of the six-year LRs. Uh, yeah, with all that out of the way, let's get right into it now. And we'll start with the first source of stones before the anniversary, which would be the daily login bonus, and I'm pretty sure this is just accounting for the login bonus we have before the anniversary starts. So if you log in every single day, that's going to be 20 stones right there. And then we have daily missions, which is going to be another 20 stones because we get one stone per day for the daily missions. And then we're also going to have our standard weekend missions for a couple of extra stones every weekend. And between now and the start of the anniversary, that should add up to an additional eight stones and uh, there was also a maintenance that was announced I think only a few hours ago and if it's a standard maintenance we'll get one stone for it if it's an extended maintenance then we might get two to three stones so we'll see and uh, the next thing we have here is a big one the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Extreme Z Awakening slash Extreme Z Battle which uh, will give out a total of 34 stones if you complete all 30 levels and also complete all three missions. So 34 stones right there for the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks EZA. And another big source of stones will be the Super Saiyan Trunks Explosive Chain Battle, which is also starting in a couple days along with the Gotenks EZA. And if you complete all the missions there, that's an additional 21 stones. And then uh, once we get closer to the end of the month, uh, probably somewhere around June 30th slash July 1st. There's going to be a countdown login bonus and uh, we should be getting about 10 stones for the login bonus if you log in once again every single day, right? And then there's going to be a anniversary countdown comeback campaign, which I think like last year is going to be where we try to get as many people to come back to the game as possible. And if we complete all of those goals, that's going to be about eight stones for that campaign. And then this one is not confirmed, not guaranteed, but I think very likely, I think very, very likely that we'll be getting another world tournament, the 37th global world tournament. And in this case, if you once again, complete all the missions, you do everything you're supposed to do, you should be getting approximately 50 dragon stones in total, or possibly a little bit more. I think the last time, I did a tally for the world tournament. It was something like 52 or 54 stones or something like that. Either way, it's gonna be a lot of stones if we get another world tournament, right? 
And uh, before the anniversary starts, there will definitely be another server maintenance just to get ready. And if it's once again a standard maintenance, then it's going to be one stone. But I have a good feeling that this one will probably run long because this is global after all. So uh, we might expect a few more stones for one of those you know, extended delayed maintenances. And uh, there's going to be the first login for when the anniversary starts, which is going to be 30 stones. Now, he says anniversary live stream, which is obviously something that Global doesn't typically get. Maybe they'll throw us a curveball this year and actually do a live stream, but I think it's very, very unlikely. But there is a chance that we get a Dokkan Now program for the anniversary this year. Because Dokkan Now seems to be you know, Global's version of like these live streams, right? That's their way of communicating with the global fan base. So, um, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for a Dokkan now this year or the anniversary to hype up the player base. If not, they're still gonna give us these stones just in a different way. As Fatality uh, writes here in this footnote, he says, uh, worth noting that Global typically does not have anniversary dedicated live streams like JP. Instead, we occasionally get special Dokkan Now episodes, and what Global did last year is Bandai spread the stones from the Year 5 stream across various social media campaigns, which we may or may not receive in time before the banners launch this time around. So, yeah, this one is gonna be kinda iffy, you know, it's a bit of a question mark. If we do get the Dokkan Now this year, then we'll probably get all 66 stones at once. If not though, and it's like last year, and they spread it out between campaigns, then we might not be able to get all of them before the Dual Dokkan Fest drops, which is still okay, because obviously we'll be able to get those stones eventually, but I know people want to have as many stones as possible the moment the banner drops. So hopefully we get these stones um, through some kind of Dokkan Now program or some other way that's going to be before the anniversary, right, or before the banners drop. Okay, so from there we have the daily login part one, which is going to be four stones, and uh, this is probably just accounting for like the first day, right, of the anniversary. And then we got two stones for daily missions, six stones for special missions part one. There's the super rebrand co-op campaign, and he puts ten stones here, but but he says these co-op campaigns usually take a while to fully complete, so most likely not all of the missions will be achieved before the banners are out, but we're at least guaranteed the two stones from personal missions and another two to four from the first couple of steps, okay? And there's a few more here. Uh, the boss rush, new boss rush stage number 12. If you complete that, 35 stones right there, very easy. Uh, got instruction event. Okay, so this one is also a bit iffy. We get four stages for a total of 24 stones and uh, they release the stages in steps, so we get the first four stages, and then about a week and a half later, another four, and the remaining stages after that. But, they're very hard, okay? This event is very, very difficult, so if you're not able to actually complete these God of Destruction stages, then those 24 stones will obviously not be available to you for now, but if you are a, you know, fairly experienced player or you got some really good teams and you are able to beat this then that's going to be a easy or not easy but 24 stones right there and then we have the master roshi story event stages one to three for nine stones the universe seven story event stages one to four for 11 stones ichiban kuji collaboration 14 stones this one not super sure about because we don't typically get the ichiban kuji collaboration because that is kind of a Japanese exclusive thing, but we may just get a social media campaign in place of this for the same number of stones. And then we have the daily Majin Buu training event, and that's going to be kind of like the Whis event where we get um, skill orbs daily for uh, Universe 7 units, I believe. So that's going to be one stone right there. So once you add all of this stuff up, right, all of these different sources, daily login, daily missions, Trunks EZA, or rather Trunks Chain Battle, Gotenks EZA, uh, anniversary stuff, right? We will get a grand total of up to 385 Dragon Stones before the Dual Dokkan Fest begins. Now, there obviously is a chance that we can get even more because as Fatality also mentions somewhere in this post, 
Um, I'm not 100% where he said it, but basically the current campaign on global lasts until the 20th, right? So there's a good chance that there's probably going to be a part two to this campaign with uh, possibly LR Tapion dropping sometime within the next week, week and a half. And uh, if that's the case, then we might also get maybe another easy A or maybe just some other way of getting some quick stones, right? So um, I would say we could go up to like maybe 400 stones before the uh, Dual Dual Combat comes out. But of course, this is just pure speculation. Okay, so it could be nothing. We, we might just have like this really you know, dry, like, week, week and a half before the countdown starts. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait for, um, you know, in-game news to come out. But for the time being, I am very comfortable with this 385 stone mark. And of course, as has been said, you need to do everything, right? You need to do all the new events. You need to participate in the um, you know, campaigns, the login bonus, the missions, all that stuff to ensure you get these stones in your possession before LRUI Goku and SSB Vegeta come out. And, uh, you know, that's a good amount of stones, right? He broke it down here, so that's going to be enough, right? 385 stones is enough to do one full rotation on both banners, right? Because you get the initial discounts, it's only going to be 110 stones for the full rotation, times 2, that's 220 stones, and then after that, you'll still have enough to do another full rotation on one of the banners, depending on which one, you know, you prefer, or which one treated you worse, I guess, because another full rotation would be 150 stones, so 220 stones for the initial rotations, and then another 150 stones for the third rotation for 370 stones, and you'll probably still have some left over so yeah essentially if you have like zero stones right now right and you feel screwed you feel despair um don't be too upset because if you just save up from now you'll still have a decent amount of stones and for my savers out there for people that you know already have a lot of stones that's going to be a nice bump to your total like if you already have like 500 stones when the anniversary starts or when the banners come out you'll have close to 900 stones, maybe even a little bit more, depending on how these events and stuff shake out. But um, yeah, that's going to give you guys a decent idea of the stone count or the stones to expect before the banners come out. And that is the question that so many people have been asking me about. So hopefully people are satisfied now. And of course, I want to make sure everybody knows fatality underscore 93 underscore RUS deserves all the credit for this and uh, this video definitely wouldn't have been possible without it so uh there you go guys about 385 stones before the dual dokkan fest maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less we'll see but somewhere around this number and uh, the anniversary is about a month away so get hyped guys we got a lot of great stuff coming i'll uh, hype you guys up a little bit maybe just with some images here from the Japanese 6th anniversary campaign. Oh, there's the Dual Dokkan Fest. And uh, maybe a little bit later this week, I'll do another video, give you guys a tally of how many stones we can expect during the entire anniversary. But for now, I feel like this uh, question of, you know, the stone count before the anniversary is definitely much more important to people. So uh, there you go. And... Uh, getting down to the bottom here, Boss Rush, Super Battle Road, so on and so forth. Uh, Ichiban Kuji collaboration. Once again, probably not getting this, but we'll still get the stones in some way, right? So that's going to be fine. And that's it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful or useful in some way. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.